So I bought some of these TL smoothers. Um, allegedly, they're supposed to reduce the the waviness of your prints or the uh, motor step jerks or whatever that you might see in your prints. These are called the TL Plus Smoother. They're about $11.95 off of Amazon, and I got four of them for that price. I'm going to print a test cube without these installed, and then print another test cube with these installed at 100 millimeters per second and see if there's really any difference. All these are diodes, and I'm not really sure how these would do any kind of smoothing. I'm skeptical, but hopeful, so let's see. So this is printing at 100 millimeters per second without the TL smoothers installed. So I'm printing this at 100 millimeters per second with uh, three bottom layers, three top layers, and three walls at 30% infill, and the layer height is uh, 0.2. And it's just finishing up the very last layers. So now I have all four TL smoother boards plugged into the motherboard here. They plug into the motherboard and then your motor leads plug into the other end. So now I have the TL smoothers installed on the all my drive motors, the X, Y, and Z axis, printing the same exact G code as the first model. So there shouldn't be any differences. This is the first cube I did. You can see the ghosting right here. Down here, there's minor bits of it. And on the X, it's really bad. You see ghosting right here and ghosting here. And some on the back side and some on the uh, right side of the X axis. Here's the underneath, which is damn near perfect. And here's the top, which is also good. So here's one with the TL smoothers installed. You see there's just minor ghosting, which can probably be tweaked in Cura. And remember, this is at 100 millimeters per second printing speed. Um, I've never printed successfully at 100 millimeters per second. Um, there's minor banding there. Minor ghosting. Here's the bottom. Here's the top. And let's compare them. Without TL smoothers, with TL smoothers. really there's there's still ghosting right here but it's not as prominent you see it's a lot deeper on this side and also a lot more ghosting right here compared to right here 
and I can always turn my acceleration down because um, right now my acceleration is at about 725 and that's for uh, 50 millimeter. I usually print it 50 millimeters per second and I don't get any banding or ghosting. This is a huge difference on this side. Here's the results of uh, TL Smoothers. So this test is kind of to the extreme end of it because I don't really know anyone who prints at 100 millimeters per second and has a good uh, uh, print. Even with a metal frame you're going to get uh, this kind of banding. But with TL Smoothers it's significantly less. So if I'm printing at 50 millimeters per second or 60 millimeters per second I can easily turn the acceleration up and uh, maybe even get uh, faster speeds. So. Do TL smoothers work? I would say yes. I think this banding is more on the rigidity of my machine because the threaded rods are flopping around and I'm soon to fix that by installing a BLV mod which is a linear rail install rather than the round rods which will really beef up the rigidity of this ANET printer. So for around 12 bucks, you can get something that you can easily add on to your printer and improve the quality of your prints.